Hey, welcome back to Blanchy Talks Watches. Today we're going to do the full review of the first stage Shoal Deep. Now, I really wanted to get the video out today. I think if I've timed this video right, is the launch on Kickstarter. So we'll jump straight in. So first stage is a watch venture between Second Era Watches and Jack Hypoxia. Um, Jack Hypoxia is a famous modder and second era watches created watches like the stunning gin clear watch so it's a partnership between them and um, so you take jack's experience with modding and second hour's experience with the business side and what you get is an absolutely stunning watch with seriously well run program and um, this even the, the press pack they sent me to go along with this review sample is impressive and um, I've you know I've got press releases before from brands but this was a, a full press pack which is really nice to see it's just got everything there so before I got the watch I had a good read of it and I saw kind of the whole story behind it which was nice because oftentimes with, with micro brands you do get the story and I love hearing the story about how watches are created but sometimes it can be a little light on the details so you know what's in a post on Facebook might be the extent of it. Whereas these guys have really put together a nice pack and you can see they've kind of thought of everything about how they're doing it and why they're doing it, more importantly. So yeah, look, we will jump straight in. So the name first stage uh, might sound a bit unusual, but what it is is it's the first stage regulator in a scuba diving setup, which is obviously aimed at the watch being a dive watch. It's also a nod to the fact that it is a first stage in the partnership between Second Hour and Jack Hypoxia. So if you've seen my unboxing on this, you'll see the specs are pretty good. This review sample has traveled the world and as you can see it is well worn and uh, myself included i did wear it quite a good bit over the past two weeks okay so we will jump into the specs so we'll get a diameter on it here without the crown you're looking at 42 42 and a half thickness then 14 with a lug to lug of 46 crown then Oops. get it crown is 7 millimeters and you can see there it is engraved with the first stage logo. The case, crown, case back, bracelet, clasp, everything is 316L stainless steel. The case uh, design then is pretty synonymous with Seiko and the SKX series. But what makes this really different really really different is the movement is a Miyota movement now in this one it is a 9039 no date movement and in a like a Seiko style case that's uh, pretty unusual and pretty special as well if you ask me now this is something I forgot to mention on the unboxing kicking myself the case back is stunning you've got a deep engraving or laser engraving I think and the high polish on the shell of sharks which is very very cool you can see there water resistance 300 meters sapphire crystal shell deep automatic movement and there is that dial and um, I believe it's oil pressed yeah oil pressed dial with the applied indices Now this is showing up quite bright under my light. Um, it is more of a subdued green in real life. 
um, I'm just having a bit of difficulty capturing it but if you follow me on social you'll have seen it there so make sure you do follow my Instagram or Facebook I'm always posting in the groups over there so the sapphire crystal is double domed see there just about make it out the bezel is also custom I find this bezel now it's very nice don't get me wrong it's just unusual <laughs> I, I I'm struggling to describe it now it's a you know 120 click nice nice but no play at all it's very nice but what I find unusual about it is these cuts they're straight cuts in it they feel nice it's no sharp edges at all what I find strange is they almost feel sticky so I don't know if anyone else has, has noticed this but when I'm gripping it the grip is so good I feel like my fingers are a bit sticky and the first time I used it I had to kind of go no my fingers aren't sticky I've got kids I wouldn't be surprised if my fingers were sticky because kids are very sticky creatures and it just it it feels like it sticks to your finger. The grip is so good. Um, no chance of it moving by accident. Like, it's not. You can hit it as much as you want. It's not going to go. But, the second you want it to go, it goes. It's really impressive. Um, I've never felt a bezel like this. That just, I, I don't know how order to describe it than sticky. It's, and it's not sticky. And like, if you're touching it straight on, it's not. But it's the second you go to turn it. It just grips and it's it's very impressive um like i absolutely love playing with the bezel uh nice sound to it as well and it lines up perfectly you can see there not something you can say about most seiko watches obviously this isn't seiko and these have a higher standard you can see they're perfectly lined up the whole way down so this is the kelp green dial version with the stainless steel case. There is a range of different options for this. So first off, you have the dive time bezel, which I have on this one here, or there is a 12 hour bezel option. Uh, both versions have the red, kind of from the, the zero to the 15. Uh, this is obviously the stainless steel version. It also comes with DLC black. There is three dial options kelp green the shallows blue or black and um, so in terms of combinations wise there is 10 different options you can have uh, between the dials the dlc and the different bezels which is pretty cool to see so many options out there and um, especially for a first model and um, oftentimes you kind of you get the one or the two colors and kind of that's it so to see not only well, the three colors isn't too impressive but the three colors plus the dlc option plus the option of the bezel is very impressive seeing a bezel option as well isn't something you see too often um, and it's nice that you know it's designed with a master watch modifier so obviously he knows how people can be very picky and specific about what they want so yeah, it's it's nice to see all those options. Um, the lug diameter is twenty two millimeter, pretty standard size. Loads and loads of options. I think I said in the unboxing that I was going to put this on different straps for the review. I'm not, and the reason is this bracelet is just fantastic, and um, the articulation on it is just amazing. Like. Look at that, it's just great. There's so much articulation to it. Um, it's beads of rice style, obviously. And to be honest, I've kind of turned my nodes up at beads of rice bracelets up to this one. I've never had one. I don't think I've even reviewed a watch with one on it. I never wanted one, but I think this might be the best bracelet I've ever seen. Um, and I'll show you why now. Well, the clasp is a pretty standard, well, it looks to be a pretty standard affair, you know, milled clasp, you fold over it, you click it closed, that's it, um, nice engraving, apart from that, it looks like your standard clasp, but it feels more premium, like look at that, there is no movement, there's nothing, 
there's no noise right from the the way it clicks so solid when that's closed I think this is probably the best quality clasp I've ever had even compared to the likes of the Tudor that I have on loan right now this bracelet I would put that above the Tudor bracelet the Tudor bracelet is very nice but this is just like I don't know how well it's come across on camera but there is no noise and I mean like there's no noise at all from that bracelet I don't know if this is a fluke or a freak of nature or what but this bracelet is completely silent there is no chance of that popping up there's no noise from the clasp like it's crazy it just it's got all the articulation you need I find I'm actually wearing this bracelet tighter than I normally would because of how comfortable it is there is micro just there I'm on the last one there's spare links in the box of the sample I got so I could add another one in and I normally would wear my watch a bit looser but I tried this on with the, the micro just inside look it, it can move it's not too tight I'll leave it on and I'll add a link in the next day and I just didn't need to after wearing it all night it was still perfectly comfortable and it's just it blows my mind how quiet it is and how good quality it is it's just like I feel a bit ridiculous going on about the quality of a bracelet when the watch is as good as it is the bracelet is just fantastic um, I think I think I'm converted to beads of rice <laughs> but I have a feeling that I'll be disappointed by whatever bracelet I get after this one um, I should mention as well the hands on this are custom made diamond cut so they're not just any old off the shelf hands to this level of detail it's nice to have different hands than everyone else um, there is internal AR on the sapphire crystal as well um, I think it's a it's a bold move moving into the kind of modified watch space um, a lot of people myself included look at a new watches and offerings and say like I could build it myself or I have built one or why would I buy that when I can buy the parts for cheaper so to move into this space is bold but they've absolutely got it with the quality I mean that's a huge selling factor I mean one most people aren't going to go and make a watch themselves but when you're going into a, a classic look case like this you really want to make it stand out and they've done that in spades with all the custom work the custom bezel insert the custom bezel itself the hands and I haven't even got to what is my favourite part of this watch if you've been watching my videos you know I like Loom and this has it in spades so this is the watch uncharged apart from just this video now and the ring light while I was doing the video now I'm going to charge it quickly with my UV torch and you can see it really glow so as you can see the bezel insert is loomed the hands and the indices and that's it it's more of a blue colour than it's coming up on screen but yeah to be honest I think it's actually brighter in person than it's it's shown up the camera's kind of struggling to catch just how bright it is but that lasts as well and all of it lasts I mean the bezel insert loom lasts as well as the hands and the indices and it's absolutely stunning <laughs> I love loom I'm always banging on about it especially on dive watches dive watches need to have good loom and this absolutely does this loom is incredible and it lasts so long and so clear you can see this right from the sun goes down till the sun comes up you can read it at any time so the color is bgw9 super luminovia um, and they put eight layers on which is pretty obvious because it lasts and it's so bright I'll try zooming on it there it's very neatly applied as well 
for being so thick it doesn't really like it's not blobby or anything like that um, I'll just turn back on the light and we can keep talking about it get back in focus there okay so as I've shown already on the wrist seven and a quarter inches 42 and a half millimeters so it's right at my sweet spot and it fits beautifully profile wise it's not too tall either nice thin appearance of the bezel it's the slope bezel insert I really like the way the beads of rice go into the bracelet in the end link solid end link and it is just gorgeous and as I've said before super super comfortable just wear it non-stop and I have to be honest for the past kind of two weeks I've really struggled to take this off and I find I'll take this off to wear something else and then put this back on um, it's that good it really is I really really do like it again the dial is coming up a more definite green here and um, just with my ring lights than it does in natural daylight but you can see that on their Kickstarter page that I will link below because it should be live when this video goes live campaign's gonna go for 20 days and um, and then after the campaign I think you'll still be able to order it from their website uh, the pricing then for the super early word starts at $425 for the standard and 435 for the DLC, so ten dollars difference for the DLC, and the full retail will be five hundred and ninety dollars, and they're American dollars as well, just in case there's any confusion. And um, you get one watch on a bracelet, and the super early birds get a five percent discount off second era watches. And it's a code for that, and it's also a zip up hard case, with, and it's also an add on option of a rubber strap. With branded hardware. Um, for negatives on this watch, um, kind of, kind of stumped really. Uh, what I do differently, maybe. I like multiple coloured looms. Maybe put a second colour on. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's been very nitpicky. Uh, I love the loom. It's my favourite part of this watch. I feel like changing it is wrong because it's such a bright loom I think I wouldn't want to change the colour just for the sake of changing the colour and then lose the, the brightness or longevity of it but yeah or no, I don't know I really really like this watch uh, I love the dial Um, I think I'd probably go for the blue one and um, the green has really grown on me like it's it's quite subtle at a distance there is kind of a good representation of what it looks like in real life instead of the kind of in your face green it is like kelp green is a good colour because it's it's seaweed green like it's a dark seaweed green um, that's a yeah kind of like that blurriness yeah kind of there gives a good representation of the colour versus you know bright in your face green it's not a bright green it's a it's a subdued green but the details, I'm like I've been looking at this watch for weeks, and now that I have it magnified in front of me, I'm just kind of lost in the dial again. It's just gorgeous. I've been looking at this online for months and months, and I was so excited when when the guys at Second Hour or First Stage said they'd send me over a, a review sample. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. Um, I might have to try and move some money around see can I get an order in myself because this is just stunning. Um, yeah sorry I, I can't think of any negatives <laughs> I'm going to have to just stop with the positives um, yeah price wise I think it's look it's not a cheap watch but for how good quality it is like this is going to be bulletproof and it's going to go for years I'm assuming there's going to be no issues because the fantastic reputation from second era watches and just how professional they're running this whole campaign. Um, like, I don't think you should have any reservations with this being a new company. It's not a new company, it's a new collaboration. 
um, from two very successful entities in the watch world. So yeah, um, if you like it, get on Kickstarter and get yourself an early bird deal because you'll end up spending full price on it because it's just fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'm going to wear this for <laughs> another bit before I have to send it back, hopefully, because I really, really do like this watch. Look, I'm going to leave it there. Huge thanks to the guys at First Stage Watches for letting me review it. I'll put all the relevant links in the description below. Jump onto Kickstarter now if you want to grab one. If you like the video, please do like, comment and subscribe to see some more great reviews in the future. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.